I get a lot of letters from prisoners and they're desperate. They can't f access the resources to find out the truth. And all they get is all these conflicts from all these different teachers. And I wanted to not bash any teachers or say anybody's silly or anything, but there are misunderstandings and that's because they don't know enough yet. And we're trying to learn, all of us are. I don't know everything. But when you do the research and you find out why some, you have to listen to other people and find out what they're saying and why they say it and, and they confirm it. Um, now, <clears throat> this man in prison was wondering why certain teachers, and he, he named a few, I don't name teachers, I just confront the obstacles of the misunderstandings. But when we um, listen to this man and his struggle to understand the name, <clears throat> he was asking me to please help him. And in this book, the new book, The Last Not Serene, this is going to explain a lot of things to people. There was a, a missionary that wrote to me, and they call me sometimes too, and I ask them, uh, what's going on, you know, with them in these remote locations that they're sent to. Their denominations send them into the remote areas of the world and they tell me on the phone that they can't teach their own congregations the truth. Of the, they teach their mission field the truth, but they can't teach their own people the truth because they're so caught up in traditions that they would get, they would lose their jobs, you know. Well, anyway, <clears throat> so anyway, this is a mission, too. We're not, the last Nazarene are doing what the first Nazarene did. And we're, we're responding to Yahushua's breath that's in us now to speak to the world the truth of his name and his commandments. Well, let's go through this real quick. There's te now, this, this is called Yehovah. All right, Yeho Va. That's the name of this video. <clears throat> that is an attempt to make his name work. That's coming from Jehovah, you know, the Jehovah thing. They weren't really e even saying that 400 plus years ago in the King James Version. When they wrote Jehovah, they weren't really saying that. The J wasn't a J, it was a Y sound. The Y was the iota with a tail. And then the E-O, Yeho, was a valation or vowel attempt by the Maserats in the 8th century through the 12th century to misdirect the enunciation of Hebrew so that no one would really say the name because it was considered to be a traditional hidden thing. You don't want to say that. you know. They, so they put these little dots and dashes and little things around the letters to add to the enunciation to direct the reader to say something else. And the King James translators didn't know this. So they just adopted it. They said, well, what's that mean? And they put it in there as Yeho or Jehovah. But they didn't say J. They said Ya. Yeho. Then the V, they weren't really saying Th. That involves the upper teeth v, and the lower lip. Now that is a consonant. V. Okay. A vowel does not use that. I'm going to give you the definition of a vowel. A vowel is a letter sounded without using the lips, teeth, upper teeth on lower lip, or tongue on the roof of the mouth, only the breath and mouth cavity are used. Only the breath and the mouth cavity are used. The teeth are not involved. So if you say shh, that's not a vowel. That's a consonant. V or b, b. Those are the two lips. B. That's a, that is not a vowel either. Now that's the difference. See, the teachers out here they don't know this, so they haven't been teaching quite the same sound. Now, a consonant. Here's a consonant. A consonant is a letter making use of the lips, teeth, 
upper teeth on lower lip, or tongue on the roof of the mouth. Now Psalm 118.26 is quoted by Yahushua at Matthew 23.39 when he said, You will not see me again until you say, Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah. That last one was his na the name of the Creator in four vowels. They are four vowels. Yusuf bin Matithyahu, who wrote, they call him Josephus, Flavius Josephus. That's a corruption of his own name, but he wrote that he saw the high priest's headpiece, the gold headpiece, and it had the name of the Creator written, written in Hebrew letters. Not Aramaic or Aramaic letters, but in Hebrew letters. And that makes sense because they weren't in Babel to pick up the Aramaic yet, were they? Well, the original gold headpiece for the high priest, he saw it was written in Hebrew letters, and it, and it was in four vowels, the name. Vowels. He said this, they were vowels. Now, he knows. But now... <clears throat> That is, that is the big difference. If you adopt the corruptions of E-O in, like in the Yeho, then, then you've got the Masoretic influence right there. It's not in the Dead Sea Scrolls. There are no gnats or skid marks in the Dead Sea Scrolls to guide the phonemes or whatever they call them uh, to misdirect or teach you how to say the words. The letters themselves do that. I think it's Psalm 102. It says, this was written so that a generation yet to be born or created will call on the name of Yahuwah. Now, when you say Yahuwah, Yahuwah, there's no lips, no teeth, no g, g or anything coming out of the tongue in the back of the mouth or the roof of the mouth or any of that. There's no... The Vatican forbids the name. Okay? They forbid the name? Why? Why would they forbid the name? And uh, here's the bull. The, uh, it's a bula. The, uh, pre, the, the Pope made a, a law specifically directing all bishops on... Uh, it was uh, in 2008. And this is the full text of it under the heading from the catholic.org website. The Vatican says no to Yahweh in songs, prayers, at Catholic masses. Quote, the Vatican has reiterated a directive that the name of G-O-D revealed in the Tetragrammaton Y-H-W-H is not to be pronounced in Catholic liturgy or in music. Catholics at worship should never sing or pronounce the name of G-O-D. Oh, boy. Well, it goes on, but it's... Um, this is a directive for the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Sacraments by an explicit directive of Pope Benedict XVI. That would be the 16th. Well, that would, that would be an abomination to remove his name. He says, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Have no other before my face. You're not supposed to call him Aduni or Kyrios, Dominus, Lord. The Lord is not my shepherd. It's Yahuwah. Because if you look at the definition of the word B-E-L, which is the controversy at Mount Carmel, uh, that's the name of the deity that the pagan priests were calling on, B-E-L. It was spelled Baith uh, Ayin? Yeah, Lamed. Baith Ayin Lamed. And, of course, that gives you the words Isabel and the word Bal. Uh, it's, it, it isn't correct. We're not calling on Yahuwah as the name of a pagan deity. It does mean husband, too. Baith Ayin Lamed means husband, owner. But the, in the case of a name, they were calling on it as a name. And if you say that, the Lord 
is my shepherd in Psalm 23. Then you've removed his name and put in the name of the deity that Aliyahu, you know, at Mount Carmel, decidedly said that this is not his name. And choose this day which you are going to call on. Now, the teachers, <coughs> teachers out here are going to have to confront this video and explain that they have to either accept the fact that they're using a, a consonant in the name when there is no consonant, uh, or they uh, may lose credibility with their following. Uh, I'd like to not do that to them, but I'd like them to see them uh, get the name correct. And it is important because he will pour out his wrath on the nations that do not call on his name. It, you can look it up yourself. Look up a, what a vowel is and what a consonant is. And then read Yusuf ben Matithyahu, and he'll say, you know, this is a four vowels. And Hebrew does have vowels. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention to you was, oh, by the way, pick up this book if you can. It's an e-book or a printed book. And you can get it just in a few days from Amazon. Get this disc, the Ambassador disc. It has over a hundred articles. For they're they're really printable on on one piece of paper. The latest one is right here, and it also it's a download too if you want to get it uh, free from Torazone.net. On the back, right down here, I've got the definition of the vowels. See, and <clears throat> because. Uh, their fathers forgot my name for B-A-A-L. We have to overcome the traditions of men. And that's the leaven. That's the thing that's in people's hearts. That's why the missionaries can't teach at home what they teach their mission field. Because they lose their, their position. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.